months. He had seven months to ask questions. Who is Peter Obi? Where did he go to school? Who are his families? Who are those who stay there and living with him? Let's verify who he is. Ask questions. Don't listen to our grammar. Don't even look at our certificates. Yes, you can ask me when to question. But remember that the educational qualification is not a measure of integrity. There's so many criminals that went to school. There's so many people who went to school who are criminals. It is time to ask about people's lifestyle. Where they live, how they live, everything. That is what we need now. Don't listen to our promises. Ask questions. The ones we promised in the past, how did we keep it? That is important. This country is not productive. We want to give people a job. People want to work. Today, everybody said there's great insecurity everywhere. Our Father and the Lord have said there's a because of sit at home. These are all that start that are caused by bad leadership. You can have 100 million people who don't know where the next meal will come from and you have security. No, it is all that cost it. Insecurity can be have been fought in other countries of the world, in South America, in Asia. The more you pull people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. People's businesses are collapsing. Our children are not in school. For four months, nobody cares about them. Because they're not children of politicians. Our children are in schools overseas. So those who are here cannot be in school. People are dying because there's no health care. Nothing. This is time to ask questions about all of us. I only ask for prayers. No prayers for me. Or prayers for Nigeria. Prayers that Nigeria do not make mistake in 2023. Prayers that will start electing people with conscience, people with fear of God. Everybody here is a child of God. Peter B is not better than anybody here. Whatever I've gotten in life is by His grace. And nobody should abuse grace. In Nigeria, people are abusing grace of God. And it has to stop. It's God that give, gave us power. Gave us position. To use it to serve humanity. But we have used it to serve ourselves.
Revolution is in the air. Nigerians who are victims of impunity in government by corrupt political class are fed up. They want their lives back. They want the security of their lives and properties. They want to put an end to medical trips abroad by political class and their families. They are fed up with collapsed health care service of Nigerian hospitals. They are fed up with collapsed education system of Nigerian schools. They are fed up with joblessness of youths who are being pushed to the extreme to survive. The Biafrans, the Oduduwas, the Arawas, and all the ethnic nationalities in Nigeria are fed up with the failed state called Nigeria. It is time. On this day, we march for Peter. One million of us. All not from Twitter. For a common cause. From across Nigeria. We march from home. We march for hope. There is no part that will not get this message. Secretariat to Secretariat Market to Market Party to Party Church to Church Mosque to Vote for confidence. Vote for the solution. 